Hi guys, and welcome back to another episode of Let's Play Space Quest 2, Vol's Revenge, or Vogel's, or whatever his name is. We are going to try to get up to where we can send our little letter off. And I'm still hoping that one of the patrols comes by, because if one of the patrols comes by, we get points for hiding behind a tree or whatever covers up all our pixels. If you don't cover up all your pixels, though, you dead. Oh! All right, let's uh, throw a save down here. And we're going to call it LP2 because it's the second episode. And I think we're hidden right now. Let's see what happens. He's taking a look around. Whew. That was a tense moment. Bulls, thugs failed to spot you and is off to search somewhere else. All right. Let's go this way. Luckily, there's a mailbox here. We can go ahead and use. Whoops. Use mailbox. Uh, put. Wait, let's look at the order form first. This is an order form you remove from a magazine for a free Labian Terror Beast mating whistle. It's ready to be mailed. All right, so mail order form. This is an item we started the game with, and if you don't check your inventory, you don't know you have. The mailbox hums and buzzes for a while, and then an object of some sort drops into the tray at the base of the box. The machine goes silent. Ah, let's take a look at this object of some description. So, look object. Hmm, this game seems to be not taking all my input commands very well anymore. It's, uh... Yeah, you can hear me backspacing, but nothing's happening. That's odd. Maybe my keyboard is getting low on batteries. Alright, let's look. Mailbox. Let's look. Pray. Ah, it's a whistle that we've got here. Let's get the whistle. Okay, let's save that game, because you know we gotta die one more time. Ah! Uh, thanks to some fancy footwork, you are now picking yourself up off the ground after barely surviving a fall from a small cliff. Oh, look, that is not so bad. That was back where we needed to be over here. We've got to head back to the east now. Oh, turns out it was just a bit of a shortcut. Not so bad, after all. Here's where we helped our little man out. He went and got berries before he ran off. I wonder if they're going to be important. The foliage here is much too dense to pass through. Hmm. Maybe we have to go up and around. Hopefully that is the case. Hmm. Say what? All right, maybe we have to do go up and around. Can't go through this way. Go ahead and use our numpad for a little bit and get some... Fancy footwork going for sure here. Walking on angles. We don't have to walk like no robot. Walk on all the angles. Over this way. Too dense to pass through. All right, let's go up and about. Certainly, there'll be something this way. There, we found our way through. What's he doing? Look, whoops. Oh, we're too slow. Can we see him again if we try this? No, you saw him doing something though. Go ahead and throw a save down real quick. Find out what happens when we head through this thing. Yuck! Oh, we gotta slow it right down. This is a nasty sort of... Hmm, what's that? Nasty sort of swamp deal. Oh, something's coming after us. I'm dodging it though. Oh, I didn't dodge it at all. You feel something slimy clamp down your leg and pull you beneath the surface. You struggle in vain to free yourself. Unfortunately, your desire to breathe results in the intake of a large quantity of swamp water. If the lack of oxygen hadn't killed you, the taste of the putrid water would have. You're dead! Better luck next time, Roger Wilco. Alright. We can restore our game, though. And what did we notice that guy doing? Let's rub self with berries. Hmm. You rub the berries all over your body. You now smell like a walking ammonia inhalant. 
Yuck. All right, we're in the yuck zone again. Perhaps this time I'll be able to outrun that little beast that's coming after me here. I'm going to go upward on an angle here. Maybe that'll peek him out. Oh, I don't know. Oh, nope. Still got me. You feel something slimy clamp down your leg and almost as suddenly spit you back out. You distinctly hear the sound of aquatic gagging and retching. It, evidently, you have a bad aftertaste from the berries. Perfect. We are good to go. You have stepped into a deep area of the swamp. You are forced to swim. All right, let's... You've gotten back out of the deep area. Back in your okay, so this is what we got to do here. To start swimming, we have to hold breath. Take a deep breath, filling your lungs to near bursting, and head for the depths below. All right, let's see if we can go fast enough. That is pretty weird that on the downward angle, you kind of swim like... I don't even know what you're trying to do there. All right, we made it through. Luckily, we can, like I said before, not have to be a robot. Hey, look at this. Look at this. That's a... Uh, get gem. Get the glowing gem. Look, gem. Ah, the glowing gem provides a gentle illumination. Gem is her name. No one else is the same gem. We have to dive. Oh, we did not hold our breath. Once again, you wisely take a load of air and head down below. Actually, do you know what? Let's save this. Because I wonder if you just, if you dive without holding your breath, do you die from lack of breathing? I'm hoping so. Whoops. Getting caught on things here. You can't go on. You don't have enough oxygen in your lungs. You panic. The need for oxygen causes you to become irrational. You desire fear. Because you'd inhale a large quantity of water, which results in suffocation. Oh, we dead. All right. Let us not do that this time. Hold breath. Yes, classic Sierra game stuff. You die if you don't hold breath before you dive, because your guy is too dumb to hold his breath before he dies. Work our way through there. There we go. And up to the surface, and we should be good to go. Yes, gotten back on the soggy, soggy parts. Let's work our way over to the next screen. Let's save our game since we survived all that. There we go. All right. So we're going to get out of this swamp safely, not eaten, and apparently a fifth of the way through the game. This game isn't, is, is pretty linear. Um, I think even the first game had some spots where it wasn't overly linear, but this one's very much... Linear. Oh, I can do a little dance here if I just keep tapping it. He's doing the run of man. Uh, holding it down doesn't work, though. Let's look log. I think that's in view right now. Look tree. This tree is dead. The bark must have fallen off years ago. It bears no foliage. We kick tree. That would advance the game in no way. What if we climb tree? The dead tree is dead and seems to be free of this. Lick secretions some of the others generate. You begin to shinny your way up the snag. Yeah, yeah, it looks like you're home from the tree. Crack. Oof. Holy log jams, Batman. You almost ate the big one. All right, let's crawl off of that. And you on our way. We're not doing too bad here. Whoa! Yikes! You have been snared, suspended above the ground. You are unable to move freely. Wait, not right now. Get down. Release self. After a while, the cerebral fireworks begin. Cap capillaries begin to burst under the strain. You pass out. Once again, time passes. And then some more time passes. While unconscious, you have the strangest of dreams. You imagine your name is Larry, and you are wearing something known as a leisure suit, apparently made of 100% synthetic material, and proven to generate large amounts of static electricity. While prowling the local uh, locale known as the Land of the Lounge Lizards, you spend your time badgering women in the area to participate in bizarre mating rituals such as, just then, consciousness begins to creep in. Your head begins to clear. And you realize you have been imprisoned. Your captor appears to be that large oaf sitting near the fire. 
look oaf. The hunter looks hungry. Ah, let's save the game here. Just in case we want to be able to get back to before this again. Can we hide in the back of this cage? Maybe that'll help. Yeah, hide. No. Sit. Look cage. Cage is made some, from some very hard branches. They might as well be welded steel bars. Hmm. Look lock. It's a crude looking. It's crude looking but effective. The rust would prevent anything but the correct key from turning it. Yeah, that makes sense. The rust. That's what makes it work. What if we talk oof? Hunter seems to ignore you. Hmm. Open door? Door is locked. Break lock? Don't understand your quest. What do we have in our inventory? It's hard for you guys to see. We got a supporter, a uh, glowing gem, a uh, dialect translator. Ah, what if we use the dialect translator? The dialect translator is a small device and it is on. Okay, I gotcha. Use translator. Ah, uh, well. What if we rattle age? Well, you pretty darn solid construction, eh? Hmm. What do we have to do here? We have again, we have a puzzle, a key card, a whistle. What if we blow whistle? Hmm. Made noise, but didn't seem to do much. Uh, we got a spore. What if we throw spore? Oh, upon impact with the ground, the spore opens and spews its dust into the air. The hunter is also ground paralyzed. All right. Look, hunter. Hunter's lying on the ground, able to move. Search, hunter. You search the large, not to mention uncleanly body of the hunter. You find a key, which may unlock the cage. Other than that, you find only an assortment of parasites clinging to him. Get key. Whoops. You can't reach it. The hunter is too far away. And of course, that is the rub. So let's restore the game. And let's just wait. This isn't a text adventure. Hmm. Dream. Ah, here we go. Now he's paying attention to me. The hunter stands and takes a long look in your direction. His face, though strange in its own right, bears an expression that one might see on a freak show patron. He moves closer. What's he going to do? That's not helpful now. Dream. Oh, shoot, he punched me. What's going on? Oh, he's roasting us on a spick. Oh, no, the hunters decided that it's a perfect day for a barbecue. As he slowly turns you over the fire, you begin to turn a beautiful golden brown. Death follows at an agonizingly long distance. Oh, wow. Way to go, Wingnut. Once again, you've demonstrated your inability to sustain life. You quickly glance around the room to see if anyone saw you blow it. Luckily, my office door's closed. Thank you for playing Space Quest 2, Roger Wilco. It's been swell to watch. Have a nice day. Yep, we are being cooked to death slowly. Let's restore our game and talk oof. He's ignoring us. Let's talk to him again. This gets him to move over. And let's throw Spore. I don't know how we were able to search him before, even though we couldn't get the key, but let's search him now. Let's get key. And let's open lock. And then we open the door. Wow, we are safe. Save the game one more time here. And let's gr grab this rope. Whoops. Of course, you gotta spell it right before you move along. Can we walk into the fire? No. Touch fire! Does not compute! Now we're not gonna have this rope for long. Oh, look, there's that uh, station. Ooh, hopefully they don't see us. Nope, they're going off in the wrong direction. Perfect. Well, now, we should at least get to the next zone before the end of the video. We've got oh, about five minutes left. Oh, be careful here. Climb. Log. Can't do that from here. Okay, so let's save the game first because it's probably pretty easy to fall down. Yeah. Bunk. Really step off the edge of the fissure. Gravity has its way with you. You are sucked into the depths of the fissure at a very high rate of speed. Needless to say, you hit the bottom and you're 
mortal remains are re-dimensioned. The point where life is no longer an option. Well, you never learn. Maybe I like seeing the deaths, Sierra. Tie rope to log. Climb rope. Why do I keep spelling it like soap? Oh, what's this guy doing here? All right, let's get down here. Let's save the game one more time because I'm sure you can mess this up. And can... that is not what I was trying to do. You release your grip on the rope. It has a negative effect on your resistance to gravity. That is not what I pressed. Ah, see? Left and right just do that. Let's press jump. Your timing causes you to jump when the rope is at its least helpful point. Gravity beckons. Okay, restore. Let's try wing. Here we go. Can we get it going harder? Oh, yeah, he's got it going. All right. Press F6 to the release grip. Boom. And because you jump at the point was least helpful. Wing. All right, I really want to see if I can manage to get to where this guy will eat me. Am I going faster? Not very good at swinging this rope. All right, let's type jump. See if it works here. Nope, you just fall down. I just really wanted to see an animation of him getting eaten. I'm not pressing F6. That's lame. So we gotta wait till this starts going a little faster. Yeah, we're almost there. Yeah, that's really swinging now. Is there another stage of swinging? Perhaps not. Okay, so let's go when it's at the far left here. Click. Nice. All right, we made it. Let's save that game one more time. Classic Sierra Styles, you always got to save that game. Oh, pretty dark in here. Your eyes at least, though. Now, I wonder if you can actually get through here without... I think you can. You hear the sound of many small, scratchy footsteps moving towards you. Ow! Nash. Growl. Crunch. Snap. You have just been felled by a killer cave beaver. You now know the meaning of excruciating when used to refer to a level of pain. Fair enough. So, as we go in, let's talk beast. The only response you get from it is a stomach growl. It's too bad you can't get eaten by him. So let's hold him. Find where it is. Let's use gem. Find where it is. Let's get in the dark and then use the gem. And now, the room is illuminated by its glow, and you hear a small shriek and the sound of many footsteps moving away from you. So something made it more safe. Let's work our way through here. And of course, there we go. You have to get up and around like that. They tried to make it hard so that you'd perhaps... Hmm. The ground below your feet disappears. You tumble through the darkness. Oh, but we're out somewhere safe now. Not so bad. That was a rather spectacular entrance. All systems seem to be intact, though. Not too bad. Oh, hey, look, it's our little buddy. The dweller mumbles something. The translator responds with, follow us, beanpole. They hurry away. Let's uh, go ahead and follow them. Hey, look at this. Welcome to our canyon. You look to be from out of town. On behalf of us, I would like to thank you for saving our compadre from the hunters. Why would the translator translate one word into a non-English word for us. I don't know. Maybe compadre is actually an English word and not a foreign word like I think it is. You are welcome to stay in the canyon as long as you like. When you're ready to leave, simply say the word and my assistance will show you the only way out for a being of your size. When you leave, however, however, we must seal the exit behind you for our own protection. Goodbye and good luck. All right, so let's... um. Look around a little bit here. Actually, let's save our game. I don't want to move on. The video is just about over. So let's just see if we can't find anything around here. The rock walls are too tall and solid to pass through. Let's look. Whoops. You are at the south end of the gorge bottom. There are more odd rock formations here, and there are still more of those 
little pink folks. Look, chief. Whoops. Did I do that backwards? That does not seem to be in your sight now. Okay, so. I guess that's what's going on here. Can I get a rock? You are not constructed in a manner that will allow you to do anything with the, the boulders. You might get those little pink guys to move one of them. Okay, apparently we, that's no big deal. So let's talk. Wow, oh, men. Try moving my keyboard. Whoops, receptor a little bit closer. This is the downfall of wireless keyboards. Why do we even have one? I'm at a desk. They don't speak, they just giggle. giggle. Or a sentence. Ask for help. Ask exit. Ask men exit. Say done. Oh man, what was I supposed to do? I guess we'll have to call this a video here. I'm Zerfall, and next time I'll know what I'm doing.